In the chaotic aftermath of Order 66, Jedi Master Bob found himself on the run from the Empire. A malfunctioning hyperdrive led him to an uncharted planet on the Outer Rim, the desolate world of Caprica. Embracing his Jedi instincts, Bob scavenged the planet for resources, eventually stumbling upon the remnants of a hangar. The squadron insignia bearing the number 3 and the word Vigilantes sparked a new hope within him. Intensive salvaging operations were enough parts to rebuild a starfighter, combining elements of his own vessel with those of the abandoned squadron. The result was the Viper, a powerful triple-engined craft with a distinctive three-pointer silhouette. The long nose cone resembles that of the Z95. A retractable landing gear is built into the nose. Uh, system ports and access are built using grill pieces. And I use two shell pieces for the transition between the nose and the cockpit. A cluster of three engines allows for high acceleration. The two side cooling intakes resembles that of the Z95, same with the Incon engines. The top intake is offset and more integrated with the fuselage, the top st stabilizing fin, building snot. Bit of gap here, unfortunately, the way it's sitting. Two laser cannons are mounted on the forward wingtips. The small anhedral wings are optimized for space flights where maneuvering is done by thrusters, thrusters here, and you can actually thrust it back from here, here, and also some thrusters in the nose. The Viper can still hold its own in atmosphere with high wing load, using its great speed and acceleration. With the Viper, Jedi Bob hopes to escape Caprica with and continue his fight against the Empire. In terms of handling the model, you hold by the plates at the bottom, or you hold it around here. Ever since the is quite stretchable. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison with the Colonial Viper versus the Z95. See both non-noses, same intakes right here. This is my fifth alternative build for the 75388 Jedi Bob Starfighter. I'm a big fan of the Colonial Viper Mark II from the Battlestar Galactica 2004 TV series. I was very impressed by the Cube Warrior 75301 Colonial Viper alternative build back in 2022. I've counted problems in realizing the design I wanted and I had to take a break. Then after the model was built, many different versions of red and white car schemes were built and tried. Due to the amount of time and effort up putting this model, it's currently my favorite one. Next part of the video is a brick falling animation from studio. If you like my content, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Welcome bricks. Goodbye.